All right, guys, welcome to another episode at Project Nine Oaks. I am finally back on this camper after about a month break. Um, sorry uh, for the delay. It's been uh, pretty rough. We got sick for a while and so couldn't get back on the projects. I'm here at night. You know, lately I've been working a lot as well. So finally getting back to it um, and uh, able to get started. So today we're going to be focusing on working on uh, finishing up the cabinets. Uh, I was able to build um, kind of retrofit existing cabinets for a previous video that I've done and that's the, that's our installed here But now we have this space that I have to build one from scratch. So we're gonna be building a full height cabinet um, From scratch and uh, trying to get it to fit in here see if it works. So um, Why don't you uh, join me on this episode? We're gonna be learning as we go and hopefully this will help you out in your build um, So let's get started. All right So what we're gonna be doing today is building this uh, this cabinet and um, we're just gonna be doing two sides of the cabinet So it's gonna be attached to the wall um, On both on both sides you have the outer wall of the camper in this uh, divider wall I'm pretty sure those are not plumb at all um, Just based on everything else with this camper. So I'm gonna be uh, plumbing it up to the side of this cabinet I've got this nice and square with the floor and so we're just gonna have it uh up against the side of this cabinet and that's gonna be kind of the edge I, I work from and so really we're, we're just gonna be building a frame kind of like a picture frame along the front and that's gonna be like when I built the bunk beds if you can go see that video it's gonna look just like that I won't show all the details but I'm just gonna build a, a rectangle out of some one by threes I believe this is and I'm gonna use some pocket hole screws to connect it it's gonna be a frame that I'm gonna slide in here and then we're gonna be building another part of it to kind of stiffen it up and I'll get you zoomed in to show you there but we're gonna attach it to the side of the cabinet the front face and this side face um, we're gonna get that attached um, at the same time likely just attaching the front first and we'll see not really 100% sure so I'll get you zoomed in here I'll show you what how this is gonna fit together and um, or at least in my mind how it's gonna fit together and then sh some of the tools we're gonna use and um, connecting pieces and stuff like that so um, let's do that and then we'll start building this thing all right so this is the front right here we're going to be building this direction and then the side is going to go you know this direction along this part of the cabinet and what that's going to do is make a wall that the countertop is going to run into and I'm going to the panel of the of this side is going to be like a quarter inch plywood like finished plywood and that's going to give us something thick that if we need to ever mount something on this wall next to the countertop that it's going to be you know a, a good size piece of wood that'll accept a screw or something like that so right now the frame is going to go up against this and it's going to go all the way up you know just this one by three here and then i have this this board is going to be the frame basically building the same thing on this side so you have a, a board going up here another one in the back here and then probably something joining them across the bottom and another one at the very top the issue is uh, the way they join right here in the corner, it's not really, it's not flush both directions. So what I'm going to do is make make this flush with the front, set it here, and then put a spacer back here to hold it the same. And you won't see that spacer when it's covered with the countertop. So you won't know that this the front of this cabinet sticks out beyond the side. Alright, well we got this uh, completed so you can see it's just a wood frame I'm gonna have to slide it up <laughs> when I screw it in because it's not up against the ceiling but I had to cut a notch out of this for the the, um, the molding and then in the back if you can tell I did some pocket screws I did three of them along the back and basically they're gonna screw into this side of um, of the cabinet of the existing cabinet because this is nice solid wood here so I'm going to screw it in this way um, into the side of the cabinet and then into this wall I have some some studs back here actually that are going horizontal that I'm going to use to um, secure this side too and I'm going to I am going to use these angle pieces for that instead of I could do pocket screws there too as well I might still end up doing that but that'll get this face installed so we're going to do that
All right, so I've got the pieces cut. They're just four pieces here that, to make up the big rectangle. And this is just a scrap piece of the plywood that I'm gonna use as the panel for the, for the side there. Um, it's a 3 8 inch plywood. It's like a more of a finished plywood um, that I have left over. So um, I will sand it down to make it, you know, a lot prettier, but um, 3 3 8 inch thick. So this gives us a nice thick piece of wood that if I wanted to attach anything to it, you know, from like the countertop side, you know, for storage or whatever, this will hold it pretty well. Um, you know, it'll accept a screw or something. It could come out the other side, so you have to watch that, but I think this is a good choice. So the, the wood that I'm using is um, three quarter inch thick, so this panel will fit, you know, in there. It's about halfway through it. So when you, you'll see, you know, it'll look like this on the counter side. You'll have your panel, your like wood surround, and then the panel doesn't come to the front. It's like a little bit of a, um, you know, edge to it. So it'll stick out about halfway and hopefully it'll look like that nice and clean. Um, so what we're gonna do, I have it this set for 3 8 inch tall. This is the thickness of this and it's a half inch. I'm just gonna have it like inset a half inch for the, the panel, give it something to glue to. So I'm gonna run all of these through here um, and then that'll, that'll get a nice cut along here. I may just move the, move the fence and then just keep like cutting it out. You could use a router if you had a router table. I don't have one uh, to just get a nice line. Again though, um, you'll see it when I put it together, but when you cut the notch out with the, with the table saw through the whole length of the board for both sides, when you put them together, you're gonna, ha you're gonna see this little gap right here where, the, where they go together. Again, this will be on the inside. You won't really see this, the inside top piece. So I'm not too concerned about it. The other way that I've done to get around that is to go ahead and build it and then router the edges out. Then you have a rounded piece here and you just use a chisel to cut it out. But since this is not gonna be seen, one's gonna be at the very top edge, you know, that you're not gonna look up in there. Um, and then one's gonna be at the bottom corner. So I'm not too concerned with it. So let's get started. Um, I'll go ahead and cut, you know, the groove out for all of these and, um, and then we'll get going. All right, so there you go. Now I have a nice uh, straight line that's gonna be the, the inside edge of that, where that panel is gonna sit. And so I just need to take off all of, all of this wood right here. It's gotta go to that same depth. So that same depth, see it goes almost a little bit more than halfway through. So I basically need to take all of this off here. And so you can, if you had a router, you could just go through that. I do have one, but I don't have a table to set it up on. So what I'm gonna do is instead of, you know, it cuts here, then I'm gonna move the fence in. I'm gonna cut a little bit more, cut a little bit more, cut a little bit more. So I'm just gonna like get this um, cleaned up with the table saw, I'll run this back, you know, through a few, maybe like four more times and then clean it up with the chisel. All right, so after running the uh, this piece of wood through the, the table saw for about three or four times, you're kind of left with this. See, it gets, it gets most of it off, but there's these little slivers you're gonna have to get off with the, with a chisel so I get a nice wide chisel chisel and I have it kind of turned upside down and it's works nice to kind of get close and just kind of get started together pretty good we're gonna dry fit it I have to tr uh, cut out for the trim on the top so we're gonna kind of take some measurements with the uh, my pencil here okay. all 
All right, so I got to a bit of a stopping point today. We're gonna, I finished up putting this panel on the outside here that's gonna go, you know, kind of facing the kitchen. Um, I ended up clamping this corner. So um, instead of just using those angle brackets to make the corner, um, after I got it all square, I think maybe one of the board is warped or something and it wants to pull away and you can see a gap there. So what I ended up doing was just running a bead of glue and then clamping them together and that's what they're here for. I'm gonna let that sit for um, probably the afternoon. Um, however, I was able to, um, to to get the other brackets put on, those L brackets, and secure it together to the wall, to uh, the other front piece here, and then the front piece to, the, to the, the wall, like the bathroom wall of the camper. So I have this shell made, and now I have to build uh, the door. So we're going to start on that next. But um, you can see I've got um, most of it together. Uh, it's all glued, and the back panel is stapled on. And um, so anyway, I have the floor to do as well. So that is kind of a mess right now. You can see everything. So I want to uh, spend some time and do a good job and like kind of cover some of that. I still want to leave some access to the utilities, but maybe just dress it up some so I can, you know, put things in here. Um, so anyway, um, I think that's going to be it for today. I'm going to finish this up um, later when I have the door. Actually, I ran out of wood to make the door with. So I got to go back to the store and get some of that. But um, anyway, so I appreciate you sticking around for this video and um, we'll be continuing on this uh, as the days come.